course the elections will not be rigged. What does that mean? <laughs> the federal government doesn't run the election process. States and cities and communities all across the country, they're the ones who set up the voting systems and the voting booths. And uh, if Mr. Trump is suggesting that there is a conspiracy theory that is uh, being propagated uh, across the country, including in places like Texas, <laughs> uh, uh, where typically it's not Democrats who are in charge of uh, voting booths. Um, that's ridiculous. That right, doesn't that's make enough. any sense. And, 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 and the implies we're saying Texas will be stolen. We're talking about nationally, the Fed's involved. Homeland Security's always been involved the last 15 years. Now they've got 10 times the monitors. They're bringing in foreigners to come do their dirty work. This is like a spy novel on PCP. It's happening. It's in Reuters. They're seizing control. And I, I tell you what I think Trump has to do right now. We're going to do it. We're going to put together the informational videos. You can call them ads, but they're not. They're just support of the First Amendment and the right to vote. Where we show Obama saying feds don't run elections and then cut to them announcing that the feds are taking over the elections. And, and, and then Trump warning of this and being proven right. I mean, the U.N. and the E.U. bureaucrats are going to be here running our elections. Roger Stone, at this point, th this is so incredible that this is actually happening. This appears like they're completely panicking. Uh, they seem completely wild-eyed and desperate. I've never seen such lies. Uh, I've never seen such cheerleading in the media for other media to get more intense in lying. Uh, Trump is acting presidential, going to New Orleans, going to Louisiana, going to Mexico today to meet with the Mexican president. What in the world is going on here? How can the party in power announce an emergency and seize control of the election, which we already know they were trying to mess with? Sir, uh, what are the words to describe this? Sure. Well, first of all, let's address, Alex, what the president said. Um, we don't even know what election theft is, what voter fraud is. Let me let me illuminate the president. It is manipulation of the computerized voter machines in wide use in this country, the so-called Diebold or PES machine. Uh, we have a, an authoritative Stanford study that shows that these machines were rigged against Bernie Sanders. We have a, a study by a, a, Harvard, a Princeton professor, Appel, showing that the machines can be rigged in seven minutes or less. We have a CBS video showing how a $15 device you can buy at, at Radio Shack or Best Buys can be used to hack these machines and vote multiple times. CBS, not exactly a part of the conservative alt media. So the president is saying, in essence, uh, well, uh, he ignores the technology, and we're supposed to rely on the integrity of those in the political process not to rig the election, uh, even though it is technologically very possible. Here's what's happened, Alex. Donald Trump has raised this question, and more and more Americans are asking whether we're going to have an honest election. This is the establishment's attempt to put a cap on this. I reminded of Ronald Reagan who said the most dangerous words in the uh, English language, I'm from the government and I'm here to help you. You're right, there is no uh, significant role. We need to watch the watchers because that's where this election- And you said that over a month ago. You said, Alex, I'm more concerned about Homeland Security. You said Loretta Lynch and Jay Johnson on this show. We got to find the clip because it's so powerful and show the date because it's just, this is this. We are so on target. I'm not even bragging. I just can't believe how on target Drudge is, Trump is, you are, we are. Well, I mean, we are on target. They, that's why they're crapping their pants. Right. And I think your listeners need to get acclimated. Anytime a speaker or an analyst or somebody in the news or someone who supports Hillary says the words conspiracy theorist or conspiracy theory, that person is lying. Whatever they're telling you is a lie. You see, uh, they can't refute that these machines are hackable. They can't refute that they've been hacked in the past. And they say, oh, Donald Trump's disqualified. He's not allowed to be president. The guy running the machines is yeah. saying this to us, that just let yeah. Hillary off. Stay there, sir. You're going to have the floor when we come back. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, he has a lot of the breaking news, but this is just incredible that this early, I knew Homeland Security was going to be involved doing it, but now they're just like, we have to protect it from hackers. The Russians want to steal it. Uh, if, if, if Trump wins, the Putin did it. Oh, and let's not forget, I said who's leading the resistance against the New World Order. Front and center, it is Vladimir Putin.
because he's a nationalist, folks. He's not in our business. We'll be back. Stay with us. So the, get ready for the propaganda. You're going to see it tonight on the news because it's put out by the White House, regurgitated by Media Matters, and then loaded into the teleprompters from CNN to MSNBC to ABC to NBC. The Russians are going to steal the election with hackers. They've already started planting these fake seeds. But Homeland Security is going to go in there and, and, and save us from it uh, by sitting over the tabulation. Oh, and by the way, we're going to use spooks from the most secretive organization there basically is. This is Reuters reporting this. The OSCE, the Security Services Directive Agreement of the Marshall Plan. Let me tell you what the Marshall Plan was. Stuff like putting a million Germans in a concentration camp and letting them starve to death. I mean, I mean it was hardcore martial law in Germany and other areas for many years. This is the actual guts of the shadow robber baron world government. And here's Reuters. 500 monitors, 10 times what they had in 2012, with Justice Department power. And I have mainstream news saying the UN to run our police now. Here's this. Obama administration and UN announced global police force to fight extremism, wait for it, in the U.S. They're looking at starting a civil war, boys and girls. The entire setup's there. And I know I've been harping on this forever, but I, I, this is really happening. I'm going to go to Roger Stone here because, again, he's the guy that got Donald Trump over the years, really pushed him to run. Donald, of course, did it himself, former head of his campaign. He knows the mind of Donald Trump. But now it's so clear that Donald Trump is a patriot, is a champion, is a nationalist, and the whole global crime syndicate is doing everything they can to stop him. U.S. News and World Report has articles out about what happens if he dies. Then the election's canceled. Very creepy stuff. They are telegraphing threats. This is an over-the-top time to be alive. And, and, and just finishing up here, Jay Johnson says, I'm going to disqualify Trump, and now he says, I'm going to run the election. And Obama says, there's no such thing as election fraud. What's that? Besides, the feds don't run elections. As he comes in with executive action, Infowars.com, Washington Examiner, World Net Daily, Breitbart, but it's all directly linked to them. Homeland Eyes special declaration to take charge of elections. And now you see the internet being censored. You now see patriots being censored. You now see leaked memos reveal Soros plan for federally controlled police themselves directed by the UN. And libertarian and patriot conservative sites not allowed to operate in the web of the future. Kicking us off the web, putting us into non-electronic gulags. Going to Roger Stone, I want to talk about how we stop this, what we do. For me, Roger, this signifies very, very serious desperation. Even their tweaked polls in the LA Times show him a point or more ahead. Uh, a lot of the algorithms, as you know, show him winning handily. Uh, I know you like to be a pessimist just to be safe, but uh, am I wrong in saying they're panicking right now? And and does it this backfire when they all say you're disqualified, you can't be president, and then they come in after Donald and others, as I said earlier, we needed to raise this early before they came in and took it over. We raised it, now they come in. Uh, this looks like they've really stepped in it, um, Mr. Stone. Give us your expert analysis. Sure, Alex. What all of this means to me is that they have every intention of trying to rig this election, and they're now trying to put the best possible face on it, dress it up. I think Trump has signaled them very strongly that if he is robbed, he does not intend to walk away. If there is hard uh, core admissible evidence of a rigged election, that he's going to dispute the election. So they're trying to dress up the results. And you are building it, an army it, and he is, and we are building an army to have exit yeah. polls and analysis. They know we're serious. Uh, interestingly enough, the only hacking that's going on is the hacking of us yesterday. Senate Majority Leader uh, Harry Brown wrote to the FBI demanding that they investigate me uh, in the Russians, which is laughable. Told you that was coming. Uh, regarding uh, whether we have obtained certain Democratic Party uh, documents uh, through hacking. Let's be clear. There is no evidence that the Russians have hacked anyone yet. The DNC documents that indicted Deborah Wasserman Schultz and showed that Hillary stole the nomination from Bernie, 
came from Crucifer 2 uh, in the original hacking and then were authenticated by WikiLeaks. No Russian involvement. And Guzifer 1 was not Russian. Uh, well, look, look, we've now, it's been confirmed that it's actually U.S. intelligence agencies actively doing this because they know there's a foreign takeover of the country. And this is amazing. I mean, this is incredible. Yeah, an extraordinary piece in the Financial Times yesterday documenting the involvement of the Ukrainian billionaire, uh, uh, Victor, Victor Pinchuk, his ties to the Clinton campaign and the fraudulent campaign used to smear Paul Manafort. The, the uh, ledger uh, that alleges payments to Manafort, a forgery by uh, Ukrainian intelligence. Uh, yes, there's foreign interference in our elections, but it's not by the Russians. It's by the paid uh, uh, allies like Soros, like the Ukrainians. Sure, that's a Soros operation. Ukraine is their new headquarters. They've taken it over. They're stealing the gas, stealing the money, stealing the bonds, looting everything. And what did Soros say? He goes... I want to take over Ukraine to get a new Marshall plan that'll fund my operations. He doesn't even hide it. He bankrupts it. He gets the new Marshall plan and then takes over. And, and, and really what's extraordinary here is the chutzpah of the Clinton people saying Trump is in bed with Putin when it's the Clintons who sold Putin control of our uranium production. It's the Clintons who have done... Uh, favors for the oligarchs who are uh, supporting. And, and by the way, even the uh, Huffington Post is is reporting this. I, I, it's strange they're even telling the truth. I mean, Hillary gets thirty five million from the Russians to get one fifth our uranium. That's treason. Can you imagine if uh, Trump did something like this? Well, what's amazing here is that your activities, my activities, the the folks at StopTheSteal dot org, uh, the folks who watch Infowars, the watchers of Breitbart and Daily Caller, and so on. We are under their skin. They attacked you by name last week, the Democratic candidate for president. They attacked me the week before, saying that I am a right-wing conspiracy theorist. No, I'm a conspiracy realist. I deal in facts. And the fact is, they are prepared to steal this election. They are prepared to rig these machines. The Clinton Foundation is a slush fund and more precisely, uh, a vehicle for the facilitation of multi-billion dollar bribes in which everything in our foreign policy was essentially for sale. So to the extent that there's foreign interference in our elections, it is by Victor Pinchuk and Absolutely, the, uh, and it's admitted. So, 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 so let's stop right there. This isn't tuning our horn. It's letting the listeners understand this and know this. Infowars.com, Alex Jones, Matt Drudge, DrudgeReport.com, a constellation of other groups uh, who deserve credit as well, World Net Daily, uh, Daily Caller, Breitbart in a big way. They always try to demonize us and act like we're discredited because they're actually so scared of our narrative because it's actually historical and accurate and what CENTCOM knows is true and what generals all over the place like Flynn and others know. I mean, the entire military basically now knows there's a foreign takeover. They get it. They are linking up. They're aware of what's happening. And I really think that the folks up top who've stolen the country are starting to realize how much trouble they're actually in and how many crimes they've actually committed as more emails come out that Hillary wasn't just selling access to the president through her foundation, but to the Chinese president. That is a whole nother level of insanity. I mean, these people are crazy. Look at how she kept stuff on her private server knowing it would be hacked. I mean, it does seem like they're incredibly reckless, Roger Stone. What do you make of their position right now and the fact that they tried to demonize you and I and Drudge and others? Trump took all these messages in truth and his own ideas, busted through it all, and now they're in panic mode because everything we've said has been legitimized. The extremists are now the gold standard. We're not the extremists. We're what's left of America. We understand what's happening. So, so all I'm letting the listeners know is this is the brain trust why are they panicking so much? Where do we go next, Roger Stone? Well, notice the entire uh, campaign of personal vituperation, personal attacks. You see, when they can't refute your arguments and they're worried that you're starting to communicate the truth about how they intend to steal this election and about how the mainstream media is entirely one-sided, you get attacked personally. They've attacked you. They've attacked me. Uh, they attack Stephen K. Bannon 
uh, manufacturing. They're doing products. incredibly dirty things behind the scenes right now, folks. Just right. so you know. And it's, and it's all personal. One of my very close associates, Christian Josie, longtime conservative activist, hacked as soon as he came to work for me. Uh, his email, his bank accounts, his, his social media contacts. All he did was go online and tell the truth. Bill Clinton is a serial sexual predator, and Hillary has acted as an accessory. So actor. they're bullying. It's not working. What do they do next? How do these slime bags, these cornered rats, how do, what do they do next? Well, I think it's very clear. They're going to continue the war of personal attacks. They're going to try to make Donald Trump into Barry Goldwater, 1964. He's mentally unstable. He's unfit. He's you predicted a, that. Now the main drama is he's mentally ill, when Hillary obviously is mentally ill. Yeah, it's very clear that the, that anything they say about Trump turns out, ironically, to be true about their own candidate. Folks will be able to get Trump's measure in, in these debates. They'll be able to see whether or not he is capable of the big job. He's been very disciplined on the campaign trail. He's been on offense. She's on defense. The polls are closing quickly nationally. There's a little lag in the key states, but the whole point here is this is a viable race. The media is going to be telling us now for the next 60 days, it's over, Trump's a loser, it's going to be a landslide. They're trying to set an expectation level for the subsequent rigging of the elections. Read the Stanford study, read the Princeton study, read the study by uh, Professor Robert Fetrakis at Ohio uh, State Community College. These are learned men. These are not right-wing kooks. They will all tell you how easy it is to rig these machines. Sure, sure. Roger, I, and I understand you do probably 20 interviews a day. I mean, you're, you're killing yourself. You're amazing. And, and you're educating our audience. But our audience is extremely educated in all this. We're talking strategy here with you, my friend, with the actual soldiers, uh, the sergeants, the captains, the colonels, the generals. And I, and so many cases, I mean literal generals, as you know, that are, understand, we understand, they understand, we're on target. You know, this is real analysis, real info. We're sitting here in a big, uh, basically, war encampment uh, around the big table in the tent. Strategy, our strategy, the enemy strategy. We don't have to hide our strategy. We, we wear it on our shoulder, you know, tell the truth. Uh, but, I mean, do you agree with me that the enemy is floundering right now and really making desperate moves, revealing their open plan to bring in multinationals to oversee the election with the Justice Department and the Homeland Security that say they're not going to let Trump be president. This is so naked. Let's talk about that. And then what do we do if they do try to steal it in the battleground states? Well, I think this has several parts, Alex. Uh, first of all, they are going to have the full force and budget of the federal government to try to pull off this ruse. Uh, and uh, as I said, we have to watch the watchers. So that's the real announcement. Homeland Security, run by foreign multinationals, is announcing they're going to steal the election. I mean, that's all this is. They're now announcing they're going to come in and steal it. And I have now determined that the data center to count all the votes nationally is based in Spain. In Spain, not in the United States. Of course. Uh, there is, there is a going to be a, an ongoing effort to create an expectation level so that the, they can pull off the steel more smoothly. The campaign of personal attack and vituperation is going to continue. It's not going to matter, Alex. I'm not running for president. You're not running for president. She is running. Look, it's an honor to be lied about attacked by total scum. But let's be clear. George Soros is giving uh, the, the traitor uh, misfit, uh, David Brock, a man who would make Joseph Goebbels proud when it turns to lies and disinformation, $30 million to go on Twitter, to go on Facebook, to, to spread disinformation about us personally, but about this election, about the Clinton Foundation, and so on. We have to rely on volunteers. That's why I beseech patriots, go to stopthesteal.org. We need you to volunteer. Trump is building an army, we're building an army, and let's be clear, folks, we're not bragging. We want you to understand this is the equivalent of the X-Wings going down the trench towards the Death Star. This is history. This is for all the marbles. This is at the highest levels. We are engaging them. I haven't even plugged this hour. Everyone must go to InfoWarsStore.com and get a Hillary for Prison shirt at cost, $9.95. That includes shipping. Everyone must go there and get a Bill Clinton rape shirt. For 1995, that helps fund our operation, helps fund Roger right in the nose spending his own money. We are totally committed, folks. I am ready to go through whatever I have to, okay, and they've threatened me well, don't worry. 
I am 110% committed. I've never had private security. I got it right now, okay? That's the level. In fact, we can show Twitter one of the security guys. Let's, he actually runs a large security company and works for one of the top former generals. But I'm going to stop right there. Just understand, ladies and gentlemen, that you can go to my Twitter and show folks a cue. This is what we're dealing with. This is real. This isn't going and seeing the movie The Godfather where the mafia is doing stuff. This is real. This is multinationals conquering the country. We need your financial support. You need selenium. We have the best bioavailable form, super low price. 1995. Nobody's got this. This should be 50 bucks. Okay, totally organic. Most stuff synthetic. You need to get the Super Male Vitality. You need to get the Vitamin Mineral Fusion, 20% off. You need to get Super Male Vitality. You need to get Lung Cleanse. You need to get the bone and joint formulas. You need to go and get strategic relocation. You need to buy the videos. You need to support us. You need to send the links out. You need to spread the word. You need to go to Stone Zone. You need to go to Stone Cold Truth. He's got a new website. You need to understand this is a total war, stonecoldtruth.com. This is a total commitment. You want to be an American? You want to fight the New World Order? You want somebody to march on Washington? We're marching with Donald Trump. We marched in Cleveland. We marched in Philadelphia. We're battling in the streets. Communists spitting and hitting us and saying we should die. We are, And I'm not bitching. I want this fight. I love it. The point is that we're committed. We're doing everything we can peacefully. We're going through hell, and I love it. Because this is the animating contest for liberty. But I'm just saying, we need you to realize you are the guts and the heart and the blood of this operation and the brains and the eyes and the soul and the will. And so I want our coffers against these enemies because I can tell, I mean, it's a, lot of, it's, it's a lot of crap going on. I mean, they are really serious. We're fighting hardcore mafias, okay, that brag about 500,000 kids dying, you know, under the Clintons in Iraq being a good price to pay. These are demons that no one's ever called. We're calling them. We know who they are. We've built the platforms to fight them. We are fighting them. We need you to support us. Get Stone's books at InfoWarsStore.com. Get them on his website. Spread them. But you understand, this is war bonds. This is 21st century war, and we are soldiers on the front lines. Roger. Yeah, we need, we need hardcore volunteers. If you can't help us in the exit polls, if you can't be a poll watcher, Send us $25, send us $50, help fund the operation, because when this election is Wars over, aren't cheap, people! It's not enough to say we were robbed with no evidence. But if there is admissible evidence that this election was stolen, then there will be widespread civil disobedience yeah. in the yeah. in the. That's right, these bastards know we're not going down, and Trump's not going down. Stay there, Roger. This is epic. Roger Stone's our guest. One final segment with him. Then we've got uh, a lot of other guests joining us in analysis. But if you, if you just tuned in, I'll recap the huge news. Homeland Security, basically under civil emergency, is going to take over the election. Obama said they're not involved, though. <laughs> Whoa. Donald Trump at 2.30 today is going to be meeting with the Mexican president, Central, and flying up to Arizona. The guy is a war machine against tyranny. The stamina, the, just totally presidential. And they look at this guy that doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, exercises, fuels himself on red meat, uh, pure Americana, and they just are pulling their hair out. Roger Stone is our guest. I cannot stress enough, now is the time to spread the word. The world is listening. How obvious is it with Obama saying there's no such thing as election fraud, the feds aren't involved, and then the feds announced basically a civil emergency over critical infrastructure to protect the election and are coming in to take it over because they're worried about hackers when they're the ones, the federal government and others, they've been caught stealing elections. We've had diebold chief engineers testify to Congress on this. So just what Roger Stone, so astute, listen to him. He said a month ago on this show repeatedly, watch the watchers, watch Homeland Security, watch Jay Johnson, Loretta Lynch, watch if they send a bunch of people in, that's who'll steal it. And now they, oh, they want to protect it all of a sudden. And that shows they're making this risky move because they know Trump is pulling ahead. Five minutes left. Thank you for your time, Roger Stone. Other points you'd like to add? Yeah, I think we're at a, we're at a cr crucial juncture here in which they are trying to set the narrative in advance so that they can get away with stealing this election. Look, you have a number of events that are going to royal this race. The, uh, I am absolutely convinced that Julian Assange and the folks at WikiLeaks have the equivalent of political dynamite that they intend to uh, drop on the Clintons between now and the election. So now suddenly David Brock, Media Matters for America, 
correct the record, which should be distort the record. Now suddenly we're questioning the credibility of Assange. He's a conspiracy theorist. He's a nut, even though no one Even though these are admitted documents that, that prove Hillary is commanding the media. Right. So where the documents came from is really immaterial. It's what the documents say, because none of these leaks have ever been questioned in terms of their authenticity. Well, even real liberals like Greenwald are coming out and saying Hillary's a complete monster because she is. These, these emails are the equivalent of the Watergate tapes. They're indelible, they're out there, and they're going to come they're back. They're worse. They're worse. They're more powerful. In the ass. They're more powerful. What do they do then when these come out? Start a new war? I mean, how are they going to try to distract from all this, Roger? Well, first of all, their friends in the mainstream media will attempt to minimize it. You can already see the drumbeat now questioning the It's motive. Russians. It's Russians. Right. It's Assange. He's, he's releasing the truth to help the Russians. I want to know what the truth is. I mean, Putin's not a dumb man. He understands that Hillary's word is no good. He knows that Hillary is a liar. He knows that no negotiation he Hillary has. Hillary loves failed states and is evil. And he knows that Trump is for a period of detente. Trump wants peace. Trump is the peace candidate. And he that's horrible. Like, so they say he, he wants like, nuclear war. He wants peace, so he wants nuclear war. She wants war, so she's good. And he, frankly, would like to have a period of hard-headed negotiations after which we could coordinate our activities and with he, the Russians. Exactly. And he knows China is the one screwing us over, not the Russians. Well, like Nixon, he's prepared to play them off against each other in the best interests of the United States as opposed to the the Obama Clinton foreign policy, which is bending bending over for them. Getting back to Trump and his view on Russia, uh, I mean, you're saying obviously from just your research, uh, obviously not from talking to him, that, that that he would like to work with Russia. That would be great. Imagine a world, the globalist for a hundred years, the robber barons have always tried to stop us from linking up with Russia. Doesn't that make perfect sense? Well, look, it, it, economic opportunity is what got them out of the gulag, uh, and capitalism works. That's why they have to use it to uh, reform their system. Uh, Putin is a nationalist. Trump is a nationalist. Hold on, 70 you seconds. I know you have another interview. We'll do five more with us, and we'll let you go. Roger Stone's our guest. I'm Alex Jones. The feds are announcing, well, Obama's announcing he's taking control of the election. He's taking control of the election. Obama. The same people that no-build Hillary. Uh, this is unbelievable. I, I just, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. For a corporate eugenics-based world government to ever take control, it would have to do so by stealth. Their own Banff Canada 2007 documents say by stealth. We must keep this secret. With world leaders meeting with corporate leaders. You can't put that genie back in the bottle. And if you're receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. I've, I've said for decades here, I know they're ridiculing me and attacking me, but I know when their plans start going into place, my credibility will explode but that isn't what matters. The time bombs were already planted politically. <laughs> a lot of them. And so y you can't even kill the messenger uh, at this point. Going back to Roger Stone, how do they set up the world government, the UN takeover of the internet <laughs> next month, George Soros saying only his groups will be able to be on the web, all this megalomania of, of these narcissists and, 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 and borderline personality disorders and, and sociopaths and psychopaths. I, I mean, look, there were a lot smarter crazies like Hitler and Napoleon that got their butts kicked. I, I really smell defeat and almost death on these people. I just hope they don't take us all with them. But what about in closing and then any other final points, Roger Stone of StoneColdTruth.com? Uh, I just think history's against them is what I'm saying. Well, this explains the uptick in the bully boy tactics. I mean, three people who worked for me have now been hacked. These same three people tell me that they believe they're under around-the-clock surveillance, a dark car with smoked windows outside their homes. These are just IT people. Uh, the, the death threats have ticked up sharply. I got a nice email this morning. It said, the Clintons have killed many people who get in their way. You are next. Very nice, very heartwarming. Yeah, well, they don't send the black cars around anymore because uh, a few times, you know, things happen, but... Well, you, you, li you live in an open carry state. I, I, I do not. But the point I mean, here somebody is... Somebody pulls up a black car. I mean, I go over and start talking to him. But yeah, go ahead. The, the greatest single mistake uh, of those uh, who are running the country and indeed the world was when they allowed the legalization and the widespread of the internet. We have found each other. We are together. We're in touch. Now when they talk about regulating the internet, that means shutting it down. That means censoring His it. His own email says he wants to shut us down.
Stone? Too late. Too late. We know how to find each other and we're ready to march. The toothpaste cannot be put back in the tube. So what do uh, they do? Hopefully they just, hopefully they back off and are smart, but they're not going to. What do we do when they try to steal the election? We should do a whole show if on this. they steal this election, Alex, I predict to you, they will not be able to hold on to it. I agree. They're going to, they, not we, they are going to cause a constitutional crisis. And by the way, you were the number two in command taking it away. I mean, who knows who really won from, uh, from Gore. I mean, you're, you're somebody that does this. Well, in that case, we don't really know who won that election. It's actually impossible to decipher. And therefore, a war of tactics and superior strategy awarded that election to George W. Bush. And that's why they're so scared of you. Well, the fact that he then led us into the Iraq war is one of the No, I know you hate him and you've gone public ever since then. I mean, you're for, you're for marijuana legalization. You're more of a libertarian. I mean, you're a good guy. I'm still asking my God for forgiveness for what I've done for the Bushes. I was uh, blind, but the scale. And look at how they're in bed with the Clintons. So you're really battling the Bushes now. You're, you're trying to get yeah, your soul back. Well, right, because it's the same criminal combine. This is the Bush-Clinton crime family. Read my books. No, I agree with you. And you don't say that. I'm telling you thing about Roger Stone, I love him. I really, I mean, this is a great guy because he is so accurate. He doesn't tell you what you want to hear. He really tells you what he really thinks is going on. And nine times out of, you know, I mean, it's just, uh, I'd say nine, nine times out of 100, he's dead on. I agree with you. They're not going to, if they steal this, it's their undoing. They will not be able to keep it in their hands. Agreed. Alex, we'll see you next week. Absolutely. Or anytime you want to pop in, Roger Stone, anytime. Uh, StoneColdTruth.com. Get his books at InfoWarsStore.com and get the Bill Clinton rape shirt he designed uh, at InfoWarsStore.com as well. Thank you so much, Roger. Great to be here. And if you're going to punch the Clintons in the nose politically, why not go all the way? And we've done that here. We are all in 100% commitment.